your mama. Aren't you looking all buttons and fuzzy today? Oh, well, thank you, darling. I was on the threshold and needing a perm, so I went down to the Get Your Locks Off salon. Guess who I saw there? Mama, I don't have time to... It was to... your old girlfriend, Holly Lynn Jo Ray Culpepper. But, Mama... She buried her, that handsome Bradley J. Bedrone. <laughs> he did always have the cutest little... You really let that beautiful girl go. Sometimes, son, you were just so foolish. Mama, I I don't have time to talk to you today. I have a life coach coming over. A what? A life coach. See, I decided I need to make some more money. Well, I always did say that money wasn't important, but it's right up there with oxygen. Well, the trouble is, I don't have any skills. Well, bless your heart. So I got this living social deal for a life coach, Vita Masters, $17 for the first hour. And it's a $150 value. Are you expecting someone, or is it a Mormon? Oh, I'll be right there. It's for me. I gotta go, Mama. I love you madly. Well, call me later, Marcel. Let me know. Well, that little son of a bitch just hung up on... Oh, boy. <laughs> Mercy, you gotta get in here. <laughs> Are you the worm? Yeah, Merce, are you the worm? What? I'm Mistress Vita, you worm. Suck and fuck and cook and clean. That's your daily routine. Aren't you ashamed? You should be. Uh, hi, I'm Merce. This is my roommate Corvette and her boyfriend, Joe. Hey, my name's... Love the boots. Three worms are extra. Uh, I think there might be some sort of confusion. See, I got this living social deal for Vita Masters Life Coach. Oh my god, really? I can't believe I did this again. Oh, Trot Waffle, I mixed up appointments. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I own a couple of businesses. Sometimes this happens. Your Merce by 10.30 life coaching appointment. Mr. Vita doesn't meet with the worm until one. I really do apologize. Oh, it's totally understandable. We can totally reschedule. Nonsense! <laughs> Seize the moment, I say. Just give me a moment to change gears. Uh, well, I'll just leave you two to uh, it. Oh. <laughs> now, Merce. Let's just erase that little worm episode and get down to business. Hi there, Vita Masters, life coach. Why am I here? Oh, well, I got this living social. Yes! <gasps> Tell me, are you happy with your current position in life? Oh. What's your biggest fear? What's your daily source of joy? Where do you want to be in five years and how are you going to get there? Ooh, that's a lot for a starter. Well, Merce, you can't have a triumph without adding an oomph to try. Tell me, what do you most want? Money. I really need to make some more money. I always say money isn't important, but it's right up there with oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you need more money? Well, if, if I make more money, then I can get out more, you know, do more things. And if I do more things, then, you know, I'll, I'll meet some more people, make some more friends. And if I make some more friends, then maybe I'll, I'll meet somebody special. And maybe get a real boyfriend, you know, and maybe even get married. You know, my 13-year-old niece has the same goals. What I'm hearing, Merce, is that you don't really want to make more money. You want to be in love. You can't buy love, Merce. Not for all the money in the world. Not real love. Bought love is like genuine imitation. 
real love has to be found like a lucky penny and tended to like a garden. Well, where do I find this lucky love penny? What we need to do, Merce, is build your confidence. You know, you can be your future self today. Just believe in miracles, pay it forward, and perform random acts of kindness. Those sound like bumper stickers to me. They are. It's part of my life strategy. Oh. It's all in my book. Patch up your life with bumper sticker wisdom by Vita Masters. Self-published. Only $14.95. How darling. Thank you. It's all about how everywhere you look on the bumpers of life are little stickers to help keep you going, if you look for them. Keep calm and carry on. Teach peace. And my personal favorite, Forbidden fruits create many jams. That one just sounds so naughty. Mm. <laughs> you want to turn your life around. You've got to patch up your life with a bumper sticker. Pick yourself up and lick my boot, you fucking pig. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. That one slipped. You're out of gas, grass and ass. You're at the end of your rope and the plot grows thicker. Patch up your life with a bumper sticker. You can display your politics from the DAR to the NRA. Whatever topic you'd like to address. You can get your baby on board and you can rescue a pup. It doesn't matter what you want to say. Just pick out a spot, peel off the back and pray. Every day brings another scratch So patch up your life with a bumper sticker I've got the tools, so sit your sorry ass down and listen I mean, and listen! And if you can't learn to coexist It doesn't do any good if you bitch or bicker Patch up your life with a bumper sticker Schedule our next meeting, shall we? Well, uh, so glad to have met you. Really glad you came. I'll give you a call. Oh, fantastic. I anticipate great things from you. Here is a sticker for your fridge. Oh, Mistress Fida thinks you're a worm. Oh, wrong sticker. Silly me. Fida Masters thinks you're worth it. I'm <laughs> so glad to have met you. I totally feel better prepared for my life. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> uh, do me a favor and go on Yelp and write me a review. Oh, I will totally do that. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>